the United States spends about $50 billion a year on foreign aid. That sounds like a lot, doesn't it? So it's not surprising that Americans ask why their government sends so much money abroad when there are pressing needs at home. But is aid simply charity? Or does it serve U.S. interests? Foreign aid has long been a vital part of U.S. foreign policy. It takes on hunger and it improves health. It builds schools, creates jobs. It trains law enforcement. It encourages other countries to support our goals. And it has traditionally enjoyed bipartisan support in Washington. That is until recently. Many now question its purpose and its expense for Americans. Let's go back to those numbers. $50 billion is a lot of money, but it's actually just 1% of the total federal budget. By comparison, defense spending is over $700 billion. That's 17% of the budget. In sheer dollar terms, the U.S. is the world's largest aid donor. But the U.S. is also the world's largest economy. Many countries give a lot more than the United States as a percentage of their economies. Now let's see where that money goes. Some of the biggest outlays go to fighting disease. U.S. aid has been a game changer in the fight against HIV and AIDS around the world. Its investment of over $90 billion is credited with saving millions of lives and preventing the disease from spreading further. The United States also spends a lot to help when natural disasters strike or when wars force people to flee their homes. U.S. foreign aid supports international organizations like the U.N. Development Program or the World Bank. They work on everything from reducing infant deaths to building highways and ports in poorer countries. And the United States funds programs to promote free markets and democracy abroad. But here's something you might not realize. Military and security aid is also part of that $50 billion. Much of this money goes to help allies with equipment and training. Iraq, Afghanistan, Israel, Egypt, and Jordan receive the most support. So, is foreign aid expensive? Sure, but it's also an investment. That $50 billion nurtures alliances. It promotes democracy, trade, and economic growth. It helps prevent conflicts that might lead to military intervention. It can even fight terrorism. As the Joint Chiefs of the U.S. military have argued, Diplomacy and development are a hell of a lot cheaper than defense. As an investment, foreign aid is quite cost effective. But providing international aid isn't just about the costs. It's vital for a global leader, if that still is a role the United States wants to play. <laughs>